this is Stampy, and welcome to a Minecraft Let's Play video. Another video inside of Stampy's lovely world, and it's a very bright and early start to the day. As you can see, the moon is only starting to go down, uh, because that is because I've had a nice break, and in the last video I was just playing games. Uh, the video before that, I spent the entire time going after you. That's right, Mittens. I spent uh, an entire video trying to track down my cat, and I did, and I am so glad I did. I love you, Mittens. Uh, but today, uh, we're getting back to doing some work, and actually, not building in the fun land, not building a shop, but building right here inside of my house. And how are you doing today, Lee? Don't be rude. Come on now, Lee. Behave. <laughs> I think he's just doing his morning exercise. He comes up every morning. He has to do his morning squats just to uh, to limber himself up for the day. It takes a lot of effort uh, picking up these blocks. You know, some of them are uh, are quite heavy. You know, you gotta you gotta pick them up from the legs. You know, they do weigh you down when you're uh, carrying around all of these heavy materials like all iron and uh, all sorts of pickaxes and axes and stuff. And uh, you also need energy. And the best way to get energy in all of the world is by eating cake. <laughs> Nom 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 nom. There's not a better breakfast in the world than eating a cake. You can throw away your frosties. You can throw away your cornflakes. I don't want none of your toast. I want a cake or a muffin. <laughs> anyway, let's go. Let's go do some work then, shall we? Before we do that, though, uh, I'm going to be going uh, over to my love garden, as I always do. I don't need to tell you where I'm going. If you've been here for a while, uh, you know where I'm going. And if you're not, uh, this is the first video of mine that you've seen. Uh, welcome to my love garden. At the beginning uh, of every video, uh, I go and look at someone's sign, and uh, yeah, I give them a shout out for some reason and today I am adding over here what's the name Louise Webb and uh, I'm adding Louise Webb because she actually baked me a cake and um, yeah there's a very <laughs> basically anyone who bakes me a cake I add them to my love garden <laughs> that's why I should pretty much add you in a million times Lee because you give me a cake every day oh I mean, yeah she baked me a cake and she had the help of a creeper her mum and her dog called Whisper and she did a full video that was 14 minutes long of her baking the cake from start to finish and it looked amazing and she said she did it for me so I wanted to say thank you for my cake Louise uh, if only I could actually eat it uh, but anyway I uh, hopefully uh, you enjoyed it and welcome uh, to my love garden and uh, something else uh, that you may not know about if this is the first video of mine you've seen uh, also uh, I'm always accompanied by a dog I'll also uh, be accompanied by a cat uh, which is a uh, quite a new novelty for me but I'm always uh, accompanied by a wolf and they live down here inside of my dog house which uh, looks kind of small on the outside uh, but when you go inside you can see it's full of dogs and all oh, showing awfully <laughs> you came here in a sneaky route uh, so yeah all I need to do uh, is decide which dog I am going to take with me today and I took a uh, Duncan in my last video and today I'm going to take a uh, spring seeing as spring is up here uh, I might as well take spring with me and uh, you can tell which one's spring because uh, he is the other uh, one with the longer legs and what are you doing Mitten stop picking a fight with Barnaby oh do you want a bone Mitten Really? You want a bone? What a weird cat. <laughs> Most cats want fish, but there you go, Mitten. Here's a nice bone for you. No, you don't want the bone. <laughs> there we go. I'll leave it there. You can feel free to come back later. And Duncan, do not eat Mitten's bone. <laughs> anyway, uh, I might as well tell you what we're going to be building today. Um, it's not, it doesn't sound particularly extravagant, uh, but it's something that is much needed in my world. Uh, there's something missing in my house. I've got a kitchen. I have a living room. I have a bedroom. I have some weird rooms, I have storerooms, I have magical crafting rooms, potion rooms, uh, everyone's got bedrooms, there's spare bedrooms, uh, I've got a big tower, I've got a library, I've got a swimming pool, I've got all of these amazing rooms. Something I don't have is a bathroom! There is no bathroom inside of Stampy's lovely world. And up until now, we've been okay. I can hold it in for a very long time, so I've been uh, holding it in for uh, over a year now, uh, but it's become time uh, that I am going to have to build a bathroom. Also, um, Lee's very nice, so he never actually says anything, but I haven't had a bath in forever. So what I'm going to do was I'm going to build a bath, and then yeah, we can all go and have a bath, and we can get nice and clean. Uh, because at the moment, this room here is kind of wasted. Uh, as um, <laughs> as a spring is going to demonstrate for us, it's basically a, a minecart, which leads from here to the other side of my house, which is uh, totally pointless. And uh, yeah, I think, sorry, my dog got in the way. Go again, Lee. Right, I'm going to go as well, just to, uh, just to show you where this minecart goes. And what did you hit? His mittens up there. <laughs> you banged into something. I'm oh, sorry, Lee. Sorry, I didn't mean to turn this into the dodgems. Right, you go ahead. I'll follow after you. <laughs> Is that spring? <laughs> Tell you what, forget the minecarts. This is this is the whole thing. It is absolutely pointless because one, everyone gets in the way, and two, it takes you from there to here. 
and no one ever uses it, so I think it's a wasted room. And so what we're going to do is we're going to make this here into a nice little bathroom. And carefully, watch out, uh, all of my animals, please be careful as well. The good thing about cats is they don't actually take fall damage. Uh, so, oh god, dogs do though. Dogs do. And I heard that spring. Is he okay? Are you alright down there, boy? <laughs> He's okay. <laughs> I'm going to get some uh, pork chops ready. This might get a bit dangerous. Tell you what, while we're building, if all of the animals uh, want to join me outside... And so I'm going to do a little checklist, I'm going to do a little register. Uh, so I'm waiting for a cat, I'm waiting for a dog, and uh, I'm waiting for a bear. Here we go, Mittens was first, you can go and sit down there, good girl. Uh, Spring, come on boy, Spring, where are you? Come on, don't show off now, I've just got a cat here. When I call you, you've got to come here. Sprig, oh there he is, good boy. You can sit down there, and Lee, you can join me because you're being very well behaved, and plus he's probably going to give me another cake later, so yeah, he can join me. And yeah, what we're going to do is make this into a nice little bathroom, but instead of just making it really boring, I'm going to try and make it cool by having everything actually work. But rather than just making it look like a bath, I'm going to do an actual bath with like a shower, and I'm going to do uh, sinks that you can turn on and off with like a hot and cold tap. And yeah, I'm going to show you how to hopefully uh, do all of the uh, the redstone. And don't worry, do not click off the video the second I mentioned redstone. It's very, very easy. And uh, you know it's going to be easy because I can do it. And if it wasn't easy, then I wouldn't be able to do it. So that is a, uh, a safe sign that the redstone uh, is going to be easy peasy lemon squeezy. And uh, I came up with a uh, design for the bathroom. Um, I basically actually just uh, Google searched bathroom and uh, sort of looked through bathrooms that I liked. And I decided to just uh, uh, copy aspects from a variety of different bathrooms. And uh, the floor is going to be a mixture of half stone slabs, uh, which is a, a kind of more pale whitey type of stone uh, and uh, grey wool. Then I'm going to have like a kind of like a border. Um, sort of all around the outside at the bottom, kind of like a sort of like a skirting board, but a bit higher. I'm going to have a uh, sandstone, uh, which I just broke off there. Then above that, uh, I'm going to be having uh, light blue wool. And the ceiling uh, is going to be simply white. And it's kind of just a, a bright, nice, colourful bathroom colour. So I'm going to block in this bit here, uh, seeing as this is no longer needed. Okay, so it's going to be sandstone all the way around the bottom like this and then a uh, light blue wall on the top. So uh, we don't have to worry about the floor uh, and like where the walls are because that's going to be covered up anyway and I've already run out of sandstone. Uh, we need one more block, Lee. If you've got one more bit of sandstone, uh, go put it down there. And uh, oh, there we go. Or just throw me loads of it. There we go. A whole stack. I needed one block, but I got a whole stack just in case. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to start doing the, the floor now. So be careful where you step, Lee, because yeah, there might be a few drops. Uh, it's kind of weird because I built this entire part of my house was built inside of a cliff. Like originally, the plan was all of my house was going to be kind of over the water. Well, most of it anyway. And then... Um, yeah, well, there was going to be like a few bits, like a few hidden bits inside of the mountain. And so I built one room inside and then I built another room, then another room. And now I've got a whole massive bit, which I've kind of just dug into the mountain and I want to make it bigger. Uh, I feel like, like, I feel like for a while that I'd finished my house and I was kind of done and happy with it. But I don't know. I kind of, I kind of feel like I got, I got the need to expand. I want to add some more rooms. So if you've got any ideas uh, for some more rooms that I could go and put in here, yeah, then yeah, please do uh, leave some suggestions in the comment because I do want to uh, come up with a, a few new ideas. But anyway, let's go and do the, the flooring. So as I said, it's going to be uh, these half slabs and uh, then uh, grey wool. And so all I'm doing is putting down two half slabs on top of each other. So it's just two like that. And because you're uh, only going to be seeing it from the, the top anyway, uh, it really doesn't matter. And the good thing about this room is that because it's absolutely tiny, uh, yeah, we should be able to build it uh, very quickly. Instead of uh, spending ages putting massive big rows of blocks all over the place, we can just go and uh, uh, yeah, plonk down a, a few easily like this, go and uh, put the half slabs in between. And then I can start building the fun stuff. Then I can go and uh, try and make a bar. I know what I should do. I should do a... um. Kind of like a like a litter tray, not a litter tray. What's it called? Like the um oh the the, the cat toilet thingies. What are the cat toilet thingies calling? How do how do I forget the name of that? It's not a, a litter bin, is that what it's called? No, that's just that's just a bin, isn't it? That you put litter in. <laughs> oh, I've lost it. Yeah, we should put one of them. You know the little cat toilets. It's basically like a little pot of gravel. We should uh, put that in the uh in the corner just for uh, me and mittens to go in because we don't use uh, the stupid human toilets with flushes and that. We we don't need anything fancy like that. So yeah, it's gonna be like blue all around here and then the uh, the ceiling is just going to be white. Now there we go, looks like uh, Lee's pretty much done all of that already. Look how quickly we did this, look how quickly we've kind of entirely transformed this room where it was 
boring and grey and ugly and kind of smelly looking. And now, if I do these last few blocks, oh no, I've run out once again. If you've got any more light blue wool, uh, you can go and uh, start putting them around there. Uh, but yeah, look at what the look at what the room looks like now, ignoring my random messy bit there. It does kind of uh, look bathroom like uh, litter tray, <laughs> not litter tray. Now, what's it called? I think I'm thinking of litter as in like a litter of cats. Uh, I think that's uh, what the what the the, the problem was. Uh, anyway, maybe it'll come to me a little bit later on. Uh, but what I'm going to do now is try and start off by doing a kitty cat bath. And uh, I'm going to do it uh, right in the corner here. And I'm going to use a dispenser uh, to actually make the, the water go in and out. So it's going to be uh, right at the end like this. And so all I need to do is uh, get rid of these two blocks here and uh, put in the white wall there. And then if I break these blocks down here, I'm going to replace these uh, with white wall. And uh, the same with this here. And so, yeah, this is kind of like a bath. There's not much room. Uh, so it's, uh, it's quite a small bath. I'd kind of like a bigger, more jacuzzi slash hot tub type thing. But uh, that'll do me fine. That'll do me fine. And then I'm going to dig back that there and uh, the dirt block behind it. And I'm going to put a dispenser in there. And I've actually got a, a few dispensers on me here. So I'm going to uh, plonk that down there. And then all I need to do is uh, hook it up to an on-off switch. So I told you uh, that I promise it's going to be very easy redstone. So I'm going to tell you exactly what you need to do uh, if you want to make your own uh, working shower inside of here. And uh, we don't need to worry about a hot or cold tap for this bitly. Uh, we're going to do that with a sink. So this is just going to be uh, to turn the, the shower on and off. So the button is going to be there uh, behind that block which I just destroyed. So all we need to do is a very simple trail of redstone uh, from there uh, leading to the dispenser. So I'm going to break a few blocks away here. And so the redstone is going to go to here and then just up this way and then straight into the dispenser and that's it it's literally going to be i think two pieces of redstone one there and then one up there going into the dispenser and then i just need to go and uh, refill uh, the bits on my wall which i broke away and uh, put a button there and if you look here if i put anything inside the dispenser when i press the button it's just going to come flying out again like that and fire out a button that's not much use to us i don't know maybe i could uh, put a load of blue wool in there and make it come out as if it's going to be like water coming out if i press it really quickly like that there we go look raindrops coming out <laughs> But that's not what I want. What I want to do uh, is have water going in and out. So uh, I didn't actually make any buckets, uh, but I can go and uh, make some very quickly now. I'm trying to remember where the, the nearest crafting table is. Here we go. I can go and make a, a couple buckets uh, here. And um, oh yeah, I'm going to make three of these. And then all I need to do uh, is go find some water. And uh, oh, God, it's raining. Oh, there we go. That would make things uh, a little bit easier for me to go find some water. Uh, if I hop just right down here, uh, I'm just going to go and steal some from the water here. I should have probably uh, made a water source up there, but it doesn't matter. And uh, I think I'm going to need three throughout the video. Uh, so this should uh, do for now. And I'm going to go back up. And then if I put a bucket of water in the dispenser, when I press the button, it won't fire out the bucket, but just the uh, water will come out. And you can then go and just turn it on and off very easily. So if I go and uh, plonk this in here, if you see if I press the button... Ta-da! Out comes water and I got my own little makeshift shower. Look at this. Yay! My first bath in ages. Ooh, it's quite cold actually. Right, I'm going to turn that back off. So there we go. That is how you make a very easy peasy working shower. And now what I'm going to do is go and make the toilet uh, and the sinks. And I think I'm going to have the... I have the toilet in this corner over here. So I'm going to get rid of uh, these blocks here once again. And I'm going to do a very simple traditional toilet. Uh, not the kitty cat toilet. And I'm going to do it like that. And then all I need to do is go and uh, make a trapdoor. And I'm going to put that on top. And that will look like the uh, like the toilet seat. And then there we go. That's all you need. Like, it's not going to be a working toilet. Actually, no, I could probably do that better. I know what I could do. Instead of using white wool, I could use a uh, a cauldron. Now, how do you make cauldrons again? Uh, these are one of the things that I hardly ever make. So I always spend ages trying to find them. Around here somewhere? Uh, here? No. With buckets? Maybe there we go. If I get a cauldron, I can put some water in there. And it will kind of look like a, a toilet full of water. Jolly good. The best kind of toilet. So I can plonk that there. And I can still go... And and uh, make the uh, the trap door and uh, I can go and put that on top so I can still have my uh, toilet seat and so if I go and switch that with that I can put that on there and there we go I've got my toilet it looks a little bit weird but I kind of like it <laughs> and so all I need to do now is of course uh, make the uh, the sink the basin because if you go into the toilet uh, the first thing you need to do uh, is definitely go and wash your hands no excuses so uh, it's gonna be very simple once again I'm just gonna have two dispensers in the wall uh, one for the the hot water and one for the cold water. And uh, if you press them both at the same time, you can combine them to make cold water. <laughs> no, you can't actually do that. Anyway, uh, so I'm going to break away the, the blocks on the floor once again, uh, just to make it look like a, a sink. And it's going to be a very big sink, just because uh, we're in Minecraft, and it kind of makes everything look massive. And we're going to get two dispensers, and uh, just plonk them straight into the wall, and have a, a very simple button on either side, uh, so you can go and turn them off. And yeah, then we're going to make it look like there's a hot and cold tap. 
uh, by putting some item frames above them and uh, then uh, putting a blue wall in one and a red wall in the other uh, just to make it look like it's a, a hot and cold switch. So uh, I think I need one more bucket of water. And so let me just go, once again go down here and uh, try and steal some water. I might uh, get my dogs and uh, my uh, cat as well to rejoin me just because it seems safe now. <laughs> I love the way I say it seems safe as I go outside and just see a creeper standing right there. But inside of the bathroom at least it seems safe. And it's raining outside. I just realised I left them outside on the balcony and they're all in the rain. Oh come on, I'm sorry mittens, I'm sorry. Come in inside and dry yourself off and then have a have a bath if you want <laughs> right come on guys you can come come follow me come inside if you want i mean you can stay out there if you want i don't recommend it right so if we go back in here uh, i can go and oh sorry mittens i didn't mean to i was wondering why i wasn't moving i was just kicking mittens along the floor there i think lee's trying out some fancy new designs for the toilet <laughs> so i'm going to go and uh, put the uh, the water bucket in there and then a water bucket in here as well and then all i need to do is make a uh, a button for either side uh, for now i think i'm just going to make some stone buttons just to uh, make it look slightly different so if i make some stone buttons there and i plonk one on that side and then plonk one on the other side. What's, go what's going on with the toilet, Lee? <laughs> what have you done to it? It's like a, a toilet from the future. Well, Mitten seems to like it nonetheless, so <laughs> that's quite cool. Do you want to check out my check out my taps here, Lee? If I press this one, I get hot water. And then if I press this one, uh, I get cold water. So if you want to go and put the uh, the little symbols on top, I think we've I think we've pretty much finished. To be honest, I think this is. This is my bathroom complete. Mittens is just on the toilet out there. <laughs> Spring, are you, are you okay? Is Spring still out outside here? Are you are you enjoying playing in the in the rain? <laughs> and Mittens, be careful up there. I know you don't get hurt when you're full, but you still scare me when you're leaning that close to the edge. <laughs> so all I'm going to do now is uh, add a, a few more uh, small decorations. I'm going to plonk down a, a crafting table down here, and I'm going to make some paintings. And for that, you just need sticks and wool. And I'm just going to put a few paintings around the place just to brighten up. Whoa! A big skeleton is not what I wanted. Either did I want a small skeleton or spiders. Give me something nice. There we go. Have a nice looking friendly creeper. And Lee, are you doing the plumbing? Well, where have you ended up falling into? He said he's gone into my library. <laughs> oh god, is this my sewage system? Is it going straight into the library? Poor books. <laughs> I like my toilet how it was. I don't know what he's doing to it. I was kind of, I was kind of happy with how my toilet is. Um, right, let me go and try and... I, don't, I think he might have got the, um, I think he's got the, the cauldron on him, so, uh, yeah, I can't go and replace that back. I'm just gonna put a, a nice little painting down here, and yeah, I'm gonna go and, uh, I'm gonna go and try out the shower. Mittens, did you wanna, did you wanna try out the shower with me? Uh, did you wanna come in here? No, but I don't, I don't think she's interested. She's a cat, she doesn't like showers. There we go. She can go and join me in the shower. <laughs> she needs a wash. Cats don't like having showers, but they need to do it, otherwise their fur goes all horrible. And oh, don't get stuck in the water, don't get stuck in the water. Nope, she is totally not interested. Interested. I'm gonna go and uh, have a nice bath though. <laughs> oh, this is nice. I got, I got I gotta wash my hair. Do you wanna do my back for me, mittens? Do you wanna do you wanna wash my back? <laughs> there we go. I can see Lee uh, hurrying to, to put the toilet back. I think it kinda looked quite good. All I need to add to it. Uh, to make it look more like a toilet is maybe uh, a lever uh, on the on the side which will be kind of like the the flush I guess uh, that that might look quite good to make it uh, look more like a real toilet but I liked it having the the water and sorry Lee did you oh didn't mean to shut it did you want me to, to leave the room while you're in there did you want to did you want me to go and give you a, a little bit of privacy <laughs> anyway this is this is my toilet completely finished so very easily I got a working shower uh, I got two uh, working uh, taps here, so I can have hot and cold water. Oh, don't press them at the same time, though. Do not press them at the same time. We have a leak. We have a leak. This can happen. This this can happen. Um, right. If we if we turn that one off, maybe, and then try and just block that one up. There we go. Okay, we're gonna have to work a little bit on the plumbing, but uh, apart from that, uh, it seems to be uh, working okay. Uh, so that's gonna be the end of this video here. In my next video, I'm going to be heading back over to my fun land, uh, yeah, where I'm going to be going and uh, building a brand new mini game, uh, yeah, which should be jolly good fun. Uh, so I want to say a big thank you uh, to Mittens, Elfily, and Spring, uh, who's still jumping around playing in the rain outside. <laughs> but that's the end of this video here, so thank you all of you for watching, and I will see you later. Bye!